It's exhausting. It's been really exhausting. I mean, we were in the airport for probably about nine hours. So much. So many headaches and travel troubles continuing this morning as Southwest Airlines cancels more flights at Lambert International Airport and really beyond. Alex Fees is live in Terminal 2 at St. Louis Lambert International this morning. And Alex, what do people need to know if they are travel traveling this morning? Michelle will have that information for you in just a minute, but Southwest Airlines today and tomorrow has canceled thousands more flights. Let's give you a live look here at the luggage carousel on the first level of Terminal 2 here. Hundreds of pieces of luggage remain behind here that at some point got unattached from its owners. Periodically this morning, we've seen former passengers come and kind of cross the barriers here, across the barricades and walk in, as you can see, looking around for their luggage. Some of them are escorted by security personnel. Some of them are not. I've seen some security personnel chase people off, but clearly this luggage belongs to somebody. It's their property, so I don't know there's anything they can do to stop them. Let's show you some video we shot earlier this morning. Southwest trouble started last week with the winter storm and continued Tuesday with thousands of cancellations. <clears throat> Excuse me. According to the website FlightAware, this morning 62% of Southwest flights were canceled, whereas Alaska, American, United, and Delta all had cancellation rates under 10%. Southwest is facing investigations in Washington, D.C. because of the massive flight disruptions. Yesterday, a powerful Senate panel announced plans to investigate. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and, and Southwest CEO Bob Jordan have communicated. Buttigieg told the transportation, said the transportation department would, quote, take action to hold Southwest accountable. Now we're going to hear now from Angie Miranda. She's a Southwest passenger from Omaha, Nebraska, who got stranded here in St. Louis on Christmas Eve on her way back from Florida. She decided to drive home, but her luggage did not make the trip. So she drove back last night to St. Louis. She made the six hour trip to retrieve her luggage. Our baggage has been delayed since Christmas and was supposed to arrive on the 27th, the original flight we were supposed to go back on the 27th and it was can it was canceled. So I drove from Omaha, Nebraska here to pick up my luggage. Oh my, and are you able to get to it now? No, I have three out of the four, three out of the seven bags. Now here's what you need to do if your Southwest Airline flight has been canceled or delayed. If you want to rebook your flight, you call their toll-free number, 800-IFLY-SWA, or go to their website. If you want a refund, you have to fill out a form on that website. And for, re uh, it, for reimbursement consideration, you need to email Southwest Receipts for meals, hotel, and alternative transportation, as well as any other expenses you might have. Now, in addition to the transportation secretary, President Biden has uh, said he's looking to whether South Carolina with its customer service plan. Certainly a lot of frustrated Southwest passengers here this morning. Live at St. Louis International Airport, Alex Fees, five on your side.